Hello everybody, it's Kitakio here, coach of the Barcelona Godchamps, and today we'll bring you week two against Storm, coach of the San Diego Snizzles. Uh Week two of the PWC, my bad. So, as the other video went up early, we faced Storm on the WPL, and now we have to face them the same week in the PWC, so we definitely managed to beat him in the WPL in a 3 0 win. So we're gonna try to do the same here. So let's go over my team real quick and to see what Storm brought and we'll get right into it. I brought out in this one we only play some players once instead of um, meeting them again in playoffs. So the revealing of the set doesn't really affect too much. Um we have a yeah, Papa Berry, Tapu Coco with U turn tone bolt, light screen and uh I believe Hidden Power Ice is the last move because it's only electric uh, immunity is the Gliscor. And then we have a uh, Tauros here, Life for Tauros, which put in definitely a amount of works on Team Prep. Um, with Rock Climb, Rock Slide, Earthquake, and Fire Blast. Fire Blast was there mainly for the Gore guys since he took a KO, but he did not bring it. So next up we have Marwak Alola here. Our Stud Rocker for this for this match with Stud Rocks, Earthquake, Shadow Bone, and uh, and Toxic as the last move. So no Flare Blitz, just because the Alamomola can be annoying. We want to throw, we want to Toxic it in order to wear it down. Next up we have Greninja here, um, one of our potential main sweepers with uh, Water Shirk and Hydro Pump, Dark Pulse, and Ice Beam. Just pretty standard set. Uh, shuriken over U turn this time around because definitely shuriken can be important to revenge kill threats like Terrakion and Charizard Y. We have a Pelipper, especially the defensive Pelipper here with a Wakan Berry with Scald, Hurricane, U turn, and Roost. Not the fog because I didn't feel I needed it. But Pelipper, it's just mainly to check the Sar Y. It comes in on it, gets rid of the sun, brings the rain, and spam skull. That's Pelipper's job this match. And then we have Saigar. So there's a little bit of strategy here between Tapu Coco and Saigar. This Saigar is Electric Seed Saigar with Thousand Arrows, Dragon Dance, Substitute, and Extreme Speed. Basically, the plan is uh, get the terrain with Coco in, set up a light screen if I'm in front of something, I can do it. Then you turn around into Saigar. Activate the electric seed, give me the defense boost. And this tiger is mainly a spread based, it doesn't even have any attack investment, it's just very, very bulky. And then I start dragon dancing in order to sweep his entire team. So that was the strategy between Tapu Koko and Saigar there. And yeah, let's review what my opponent's turn bring. He bring Charizard, which is a Charizard Y. I definitely expected that, and so did I for the Terrakion. Noivern, I really didn't know I wanted to see Noivern because my best switching for that is Tapu Koko. And like, Tapu Koko is very weak defensively, so that's such a huge threat right there. He bring Blastoise, I figured he would bring Blastoise because he's the best spinner against me. I did not expect a Lomomola just because I have a Tapu Koko. I can see why he bring it, maybe for the Scizor, Saigar and stuff, like I easily set up subs on that Lomomola, so. And Tapu Koko just blows it back. And then he has Gliscor, which I expected for sure, because Gliscor checks, uh, checks a good amount of my teams, he's his best stealth rocker against me. So let's get right into the match. As we lead with Greninja, because I thought this was our best lead, he leads with Blastoise. We're going to go for Darkness to chip it down and see what kind of Blastoise this is. This shows he's an offensive Blastoise as he goes for an Aura Sphere. And 34 it did quite a bit because if it was like AB would have done like 15 or something. So now we're gonna go into Pelipper, which was expected switching, so he gets a good play and goes for Scold. Unfortunately it gets the burn, but it doesn't really matter too much. Because I believe we roosted off over here. And yeah, that's called what boosted because of the rain, so rain working against me. Now I go for here again and I see that does 42 to the Alamomola. So that does quite a bit of damage, and I'm not even invested either, so I know this is a max defensive Alamomola. Which means there's no way it's leaving a table from Tapu Koko. Um, and it's leftovers too, so we're just going to keep Hurricane, maybe confuse it, we confuse it with the second one. 
even though he gets a scold off and I believe here we're gonna hard switch into Coco one moment here uh, yes yes we're hard switching to Tapu Coco here as Valabamola goes for uh, protect and here I feel like he's gonna protect again so I'm gonna go for the light screen turn one uh, the first one sorry yes and then it's all setting up perfectly for the side guard to come in and put in some work after this so we're gonna kill off the Molomomola with Tibo I didn't expect to do Glisco there and he brings the rack I don't want it to be a Scarf Tarakion and completely blow me back so we're gonna hard switch into Saigar we activate the Electric Seed another Quake from a Tarakion only did 17% over here a misplay hold on let me let the turns go in a little bit there you go I misplay because the uh, I think this Tarakion is adamant because of my calcs it said that close combat did not do 29% if it did it was it was a roll and that would have been a max roll so I thought uh, okay I take a close combat I sub a dragon dance he breaks and sub but then ended up a plus one with a little bit more health that's not what happens since I mean no he wasn't supposed to break my sub this turn he was supposed to break it with two close combats I so could have gotten two DPs up but no he breaks with the first one and now I'm forced to a uh, thousand arrows okay here we <laughs> This is funny because I did not notice this on the match. A friend of mine told me after showing him the replay. And then he's like, dude, why did regular Sour Hearts drought? And yeah, why does Sour Hearts drought? It should have Blaze or Solid Power. So we talk about it with the league. And I'm, I'm just like, I mean, it didn't affect the match at all. Because as you're going to see, he's just going to sack Sour here, just going to die. But yeah, basically Sour regular had drought uh this is the disadvantages of playing in custom game but i just want to hope and i just want to think that the, it was just a misplay on my it was just a how you call it just a mistake on stone part uh i hope that he didn't meant to do that because that could have been annoying because since pelipper was been switching uh son from regular side would have been fighting the rain so that sucks here we go for a substitute Hoping he doesn't have uh, Ice Fang, but he does, which is a good ring his part. And then he's going to kill our Shigar. Unfortunately, we don't get to sweep with Shigar. We did manage to kill Sard though, and damage the Gliscor for a pretty good amount. And here, this is a crucial point in the match. I want to call this the main point in the match. Here, my best play was to go for Light Screen, because uh, looking at it, this thing cannot touch me at all. The best move we can hit me with will be like a fire blast or something or like flash cannon. But that's not gonna kill Coco. So I should definitely should go for light screen. However, I forgot Boomber's was a move that it, What what am I doing? I forgot that Boomber was a move that existed. So it just straight up ugly me. As if I would go flash screen, it probably would put me in yeah, Papa Berry range. And then the only difference it would have made, because I would have hit HPIs afterwards. Only difference would have made is I would have had my yeah, Papa Berry uh I mean, I would have my light screen up, even if Coco goes down, but no big deal. We're going to set up rocks here against the Gliscor, just so no even does it come back in, because, like I said, that thing is a threat. As you can see, Gliscor revealed his last move in Protect, so he has nothing to hit me. And I will eventually get some defense drops with Shadow Bone, so I'm just going to keep uh, clicking Shadow Bone. As he's going to you turn out into a Noivern to sack it off, which is the best the best play of course and then he's gonna go into Terrakion I believe yes and here we're going, going to go into Pelipper to suck it off basically and at this point Greninja is looking very very good uh, as we avoid the earthquake but he's just gonna go for the C move uh, stone C move uh, continental crush uh, the record would have been an issue if it was, um, what you call it, if it was rock polish, but like everything on my team hit it hard just to put in Rachel Water Shuriken. So, I definitely had down the control. Here, he goes into the Blastoise to take a water move. No, man, you're not taking this Hydro Vortex. Let's fucking go. Greninja destroys the Blastoise. Incoming Gliscord. This is about to drop to an ice beam. He protects for some reason. There's no way you live in 
unless I choke and I go for a hydro pump and miss or something. But nope, I'm just going for the safe ice beam. Um, this Gliscor is gone. And last one is going to be Terrakion, which uh, I played it safe here. And I went for Shuriken over Hydro Pump because Hydro definitely killed. But I wanted to be in range of Taurus Earthquake just in case uh, I miss a Hydro Pump. So, but no, Krennic is going to get four Shurikens off. And he's going to give us the victory. And win 3-0 against Storm. So Greninja put in the team on his entire back. Leading the league with 7 kills. So not even bad man. Definitely. Definitely a worth franchise. So yeah thanks for watching. Um, next week we'll be playing Destin. I'll be honest I am not looking forward to that. Because me and Destin have a, have a crazy history matches. Um, but we're going to see if we can break the curse. We can defeat our Kryptonite. And if we can come through, I'll definitely try to my best to build the best thing possible to face him. So yeah, thanks for watching. This was Ek yeah, sorry, HK Takio. And I'll see y'all later. Bye bye.